SmackDown was in Denver, Colorado tonight. Um, second straight show they're doing in Denver. Did Raw in Denver last night. I guess they did a lot more, especially after a big show. They'll do like four nights in a row. But when they're in a major city like Denver, I guess they sometimes do Raw and SmackDown back to back. Plus Denver, it's um, you know it's a major city. But where else you're gonna go? Really in Colorado, really a lot of people. And plus, it's kind of the travel from Denver isn't the greatest. Um, so I guess it makes sense just do two shows there. So you have R-Truth out with Carmella. I don't want to watch. I'm like, oh, I don't want to see this. Carmella's brunette now. She has dark hair. Daniel Bryan comes out. He asks himself. Questions suck. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm a little bored with R-Truth. I don't know why. I don't want to I think it's just Carmella. We have to see Carmella have a big spot now with R-Truth. They're just pairing and they're going to be a major spot now. They're going to be like the top. Like they're going to... I hope they'll do an elder thing where they push Carmella again. It's like... The Carmella thing is over. Can we just move on with someone else? Give someone else a shot. Carmella has more ring time than Oscar. That's the problem. Um, yeah. They have Dan O'Brien calling himself D and... It was boring. Um, I didn't like it. They show Miz comes out, and I'm just bored to death of this feud. And you know, it's funny. The Raw rating was fucking terrible. The SmackDown attendance was fucking terrible. So this is WWE in the fall. This is really boring. Um, yeah, I, I'm a little bit bored. This goes on for too long. He had Miz against R-Truth um, in a rematch from last week, so the Miz wins. And then they, they show, um, after they show Charlotte back, she's doing a photo shoot. She's doing a photo shoot, and Becky, Becky Lynch attacks her in the photo shoot. And she knocks her down, and, and then uh, the, the photographer has to take shots of Becky after she, like, kicks Charlotte and um, just beats her down. It's like, so Becky's a complete healer, doing everything in her power to get sympathy for Charlotte. I think they'll probably might succeed. They're gonna get some fans to boo Becky. They don't want to push Becky. It's like, eh, it is what it is. They show New Day backstage. Don't really um, care, you know. Uh fine, boring. What stuff with the bars? Sports you know. See, it's Sheamus beat Biggie. I thought they'd give Biggie a big push. I guess not. Paige in the back. She's taking. Um, Precautious, nothing happens. It's AJ uh, and Joe in a contract signing. I hate Paige. I can't stand her. Lana walks in. She talks to Rusev and about the stuff with they did last week. Rusev and Amy make their way to the ring. Boring. Uh, and uh, he says they didn't betray him. Uh, he wants to uh, Aiden to explain himself after he crashes up. He comes out and says... Um, he reps into Rusev. Uh, he talked how Rusev had no directions. He made him the most beloved star in the company. And Aiden, uh, he had a big part in Rusev's uh, gimmick, so it's kind of interesting. He says that he talks about how the Oliver at WrestleMania was cheering for them, which is true. All oh, just 70,000 people, all of Bourbon Street, night before all chanting Rusev Day. It's funny. Like when WrestleMania first went to New Orleans, all they were doing was chanting yes. The second time, all they were doing. In Bourbon Street, that same atmosphere from WrestleMania 30 to 34. 30 was all about yes. 34 it was all about Rusev Day. They didn't get what they wanted this time. Um, Rusev is massively over. God, not like what? So, like six months ago, he's so over. Uh, Aiden's ripping into Lana. So I guess that's what they're going to do. She happened. This doesn't hold, it make any sense because Laura Russo has been at Lana, has been married to Lana for what, three years or something? It's been, well, Aiden for a year. It's like this whole thing of a best friend. Uh, and then, you know, the girl comes in and they ru- and she ruins it. She's like the Yoko Ono or something. It makes no sense here because Ruth has been already married to Lana for like three years. Now she's ruining it. That's not anything. That's just terrible. Um, and uh, this is a uh, he rips into Lana. Um... She talks about uh, being with Rusev. Um, yeah, again, they go back and forth, and then uh, here we go. They're doing something about Rusev and Lana, and Lana slept with Aiden English in Milwaukee. Great. Great. At least I don't have to see Dolph Ziggler in Summer Rain, that fucking terrible angle from like 2015. I don't have to go through that shit again. Fuck sakes. 
Oh, that's exactly what we're going to have to fucking see again. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, fuck that. Anyway, show Joe in the locker room. Show Naomi and Oscar getting ready for the match. They might be the first someone's tag team champions. If they introduce the tag belts, they might be pushing Naomi and Oscar. Maybe they push the Iconics. We'll see. Um, something's up with um, Bailey and Sasha. I don't think that's going to happen because I don't know what's going on with Banks. But um, they show Naomi and Oscar getting ready for the match. So, um... Uh, They show Alana backstage They show Becky talking to Alana She says Milwaukee's a great town Um, And um, And uh, (laughs) It was kind of funny actually Uh, She's uh, Becky was really funny here I think Becky's just really awesome I think she's funny, she's good, she's nice She's very attractive Great wrestler, good on the mic. She has everything, but again, she's not a hot blonde with big tits. She's very hot, but she's not blonde. She doesn't have big tits. That's what they want. They show Billy Kane, Peyton Royce come out, and then they show um they show Manny Rose and Sonya Deville making fun of uh, Asuka and Naomi. Naomi and Asuka beat Manny Rose and Sonya Deville. Mm, boring. So it's Lon and Becky tonight. They show Nakamura uh, against Ty Dillinger. Uh, and a non-title match. Uh, Dillinger wins by DQ, but then they show Orton come out, and uh, I guess it's Orton. He beats down Dillinger, and then uh, he's beating the hell out of Dillinger. Uh, and then um, they just beat the shit out of him. Orton and him both beat the shit out of him. It was interesting. I don't know what they're doing at Ty Dillinger here. Lonnie gets Ben back, and uh, Rusev asks... Um, she supports her for her match. Uh, I guess Randy Orton, um, the show back says, you guess he's going to attack Ty Dillinger. I thought the whole thing was he was going to beat down Ty Dillinger and go after Nakamura. It's Becky Lynch and Lana. Becky wins. Okay. That's all we need to know here. They show Aiden and Uncle Black. There's just so much talking shit. Holy fuck. They show Paige. And, uh, Paige, I hate Paige. Uh, they announced the contract assignment. Uh... Again, it was fine. It goes Joe mocking AJ's family again, doing stuff. It was boring. Um, yeah, SmackDown deserves its low attendance. It's not very good. Neither product is good. Raw and SmackDown both suck right now. I'm very bored with both with both products. Um, yeah, I don't really give a shit. If you can see, I'm pretty much phoning it in. Just read the spoilers. Yeah, I don't care about anything. Um, yeah, it's not very interested. 